In this video, we're going to look at the modulus function. The modulus function is sometimes called the absolute value function because the modulus, how you say this, these vertical lines beside something here, uh, I mean, you say it as the modulus of minus 5 is equal to 5. So really, you're just looking at the size of minus 5, and the size of minus 5 doesn't matter about the minus, it's just 5 long. Likewise, the modulus of 2 is just 2, because that's how big it is, it's too big. And then this one, the modulus of minus 5 over 7, how big is it? It is 5 over 7 big, so that is the size of it, it's just 5 over 7. This example says uh, the graph of the graph of y is equal to modulus of x is shown here below. So this is the, what I'm going uh, doing the line along here is the graph of y is equal to x. So notice for y equals y equals x for when you do the modulus of it, the bit that was above the y-axis, nothing happens to it, but the bit that's underneath, what happens to it is it flips up uh, above the axis. So it's as if it gets reflected in the x-axis, I should say. So anything below the x-axis just gets reflected up. So for example, if I had uh, this diagram here, if I had this quadratic curve, and that's what it was originally, if I did the modulus of that, if I did the modulus of that curve, um, what I would get would be, I'll just draw out the thing, that's what it was originally, but that bit now is flipped up under uh, above, so really that's uh, what you're going to have as your modulus version. So if that was y is equal to maybe x squared minus 4, this would be the uh, y is equal to the modulus of x squared minus 4. So anything underneath the axes gets flipped upwards. This example says sketch the following graphs. Y is equal to the modulus of x minus 2. So the first thing you want to do is we'll just say first sketch. y is equal to x minus 2. So y equals x minus 2. And just to save me a wee bit of time, any bits that are underneath the axes, I'm going to just uh, leave them, draw them as a dashed line. So y equals minus 2 has a gradient. Gradient is the thing in front of the x, so it really would be a 1. And the intercept is minus 2. So it crosses at minus 2. It has a gradient of 1. So then it's going to cross at 2 again here, and it's going to go up. So that's what my y is equal to, uh, sorry, y is equal to um, x minus 2 looks like. But the modulus then, any bit that's underneath the graph, and remember this line continues on here, any bit that's underneath the graph just gets bounced up, reflected up. So then that's what y is equal to modulus of x minus 2 looks like. So very easy to do. Draw the original graph, and then just any bits that are underneath, you just flip them up. Okay, next one. Again, we're going to draw. Uh, I'm going to draw this thing as best we can. It was y is equal to uh, y is equal to three x plus one. So I've got to see where it crosses. So I'm going to do it a wee bit differently this time. I'm going to put x equal to zero. See where it, cr where it crosses. So x equals zero. Your y value is equal to one. And also, uh, we will put we'll put y equal to zero. So if you put y equal to zero, you're gonna get zero is equal to three x plus one, which means minus one is equal to three x, which means x is equal to minus one third, and that gets you another point. So when we draw this graph, so I'll just draw a start by saying I'm drawing y is equal to three x plus one. So it crosses at one, and it has a gradient of three, and it'll continue on down. That we now know is minus one third. It continues on down that way. Oops, that should have been solid up bit. Uh, so that's what you've got. And then that is just going to bounce up again. The, the dash bit, which is underneath, just bounces up. So then that is now how you draw your modulus of 3x plus 1. Okay, example 3. There's no modulus in this one. Uh, we just have to draw this graph. Um, it's a positive quadratic graph. Just make a wee note of that. Positive quadratic graph. So it's going to be a, that means it's going to be a U-shaped graph. Don't know exactly what it looks like, so I'm going to have to work out a few points here. So it's a U-shaped graph. We're going to uh, to find out uh, where it crosses. We're going to just put y equal to zero, which means zero is equal to x minus one squared minus four. 
which means 4 is equal to x minus 1 squared, which means square root of 4 is plus or minus 2 is equal to x minus 1, which means x is going to be equal to, so minus 2 plus 1, x is going to be equal to 3, or x is going to be um, plus 2, sorry, that was plus 2 plus 1 is 3, and then or minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1. So I've got a couple of points here, 3, 0, and I know minus 1, 0. Okay, um, the minimum value of this curve as well will be important for us to see. So the minimum value is going to happen when this bit is equal to zero. So this really comes from your like completing the square sort of stuff. So have a look back over that video or the notes on that please, if you need to. So when this bit equals zero, uh, that's when the minimum value will happen. So minimum value is gonna be y is equal to minus four, and that happens when that bracket x minus one was zero, and that happens, that's equal to zero when x is equal to one. So the minimum value is one minus four. So, I will draw my graph then. It was a U-shaped graph. It crossed at minus one and three, and the minimum value was here, and that was one minus four. So, oops, one minus four, and that is all we have. Yep, that is it. Okay, uh, last thing for you to do, sorry, I'll put up, Put a y-axis not. Uh, last thing for us to do in number four then, it's very easy. Uh, you then have to just uh, do the modulus of that same graph. So you've got this graph drawn, so we want to do the modulus of it. I'm just gonna draw that graph out exactly, or almost exactly as it was, except any bits that were underneath the axis are now gonna get flipped up. So I'm gonna draw them, uh, I'm gonna draw them as dash lines, those bits. Any bits that are underneath. And then that gets flipped up. So then this point is now going to be 1 and then positive 4. And that is it. Okay, so long story short, modulus just gives the size, the absolute size of something. And any when you're drawing graphs, you're drawing the modulus of a graph, any bits which are underneath the axes, then they get flipped up above the axes.